Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying message on your iPhone saying that an application needs to access your camera and or your storage. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the annoying message which pops up on your iPhone. Now, this is currently on iOS 14 point something or other, but essentially it should be the same for most devices. Now, for me particularly, this is most evident when I'm trying to post to Discord. So the message that comes up, as you'll see from the screen when it comes up, I am screen recording this. So if I go into the Discord app and I want to post a picture, so actually let's close the app, make sure it's completely closed first of all. So I open up the Discord app, and trying to send a picture to Kath. So I'll click on the images button and it says there, Discord would like to access your photos. You've got the option to select more photos or keep current selection. So uh, I'm quite happy with the current selection. So I'll just click that, keep current selection. So now I can choose a photo so I can upload that, send the picture, happy days, it's all gone. And as you heard, it's been sent. So now I'm gonna close the app, completely closed and let's go into Discord again. And we want to send another picture, so we go in, press the picture button, and again, we get that annoying message coming up saying Discord would like to access your photos. And I've already told it once. So what it is, is the privacy setting is actually not set up correctly on the phone itself in the settings. The app itself is doing what it's supposed to do, but because the settings in the background are different, then we need to change that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to choose Keep Current Selection, and then we're going to go and close Discord down altogether. So the next thing we want to do is now go into the settings and scroll down to where we've got privacy. Click on privacy and there's a whole bunch of access and options in here. Two things you can do in this section. If you're having problems with your camera not being accessed directly, so if you want to maybe stream to some sort of service or stream to Discord, go into camera, look down and make sure that the Discord app, as you can see there, currently is not enabled. So click on the slider and we've now enabled Discord. So Discord now has access to both the front and rear cameras on the iPhone. So that's that section done. But the next one is actually for it to memorize the settings for being able to upload photos from either your camera roll, camera pictures, etc., etc. So what we want to do now is go into photos. And as you can see at the top, Discord is showing as being selected photos. So that means it's basically going to ask us every single time whether or not we want to use a certain type of folder or selective photos. Basically, it's going to go around in a loop every single time. As you can see with most of the other apps there, such as DJI Mimo, Facebook, etc., they're set to all photos. So what we want to do is click on Discord, and then we've got the option there for all photos, none, or selective photos, which is the default one. So if we go into all photos, and then we'll go back, close down this section altogether, go into Discord again, and we'll click on the pictures icon, and straight away we get access to either the camera, which you can see on the right hand side there, or previously taken pictures. So we can click on a picture, click send, and it'll go straight away. Job done. And again, we can close down the app in its entirety. Go back into Discord again, click on the pictures icon, and again, we've got access as you'd expect. So this is a much smoother operation. We don't have to grant it permissions every single time. Now, obviously, conversely, if you're watching this and you're considering actually trying to limit what Discord or any other app on your iPhone has access to, you can literally do the exact opposite. So if you've got an application, say for instance, like Facebook, we can go back in to our settings, scroll down to privacy, go into photos, go into Facebook, and then we can choose none. So now Facebook will not have access to any of the photos in your photo reel and all that kind of stuff on your iPhone. I'm gonna leave it as selective photos because that is generally what we tend to use. So that is absolutely fine for this particular instance. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like. And if you've got any comments or questions or you need any advice on other applications, please do let us know in the comment section and I'll try and answer you as quickly as I can. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.